Hi, I'm Doug Crutcher. And I'm PJ Hartley, and we're the Crutcher and Hartley team with Remax Properties. And today we have a wonderful artist with us, Doxa Kid. She's known throughout East Texas. And we wanted to see a little bit about how you got started. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I am proud to call Tyler, Texas my home now for 12 years. I moved here from Europe, from my home country, Latvia, as quickly as I could. <laughs> I, I, I met my future husband, and he is uh, Tyler Wright. So when we decided, after having a wonderful relationship, that uh, we will get married, I came to visit, and I tried Mexican food and I got, got addicted, and so that was it. I thought this is going to be a great place to call home and to start new friendships and also restart my art career. That's fabulous. Well, where, where exactly is Latvia? Um, so Latvia is one of the three Baltic states, and they're part of northern eastern Europe on the coast of Baltic Sea. So if you know where Germany is, you go straight north, and you will go through Poland, then there's Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland. And on east is Russia, and west is Baltic Sea. And my home country is the size of South Carolina, so I don't blame anybody not knowing it. It's a really small place, but it has a lot of history. My home city, Riga, is more than 800 years old. So I go back with my uh, husband and friends uh, every year, and we have best time. So anybody wants to go, let me know. <laughs> I, I love doing tours. Well, at least she loves Mexican food, <laughs> yes, so we yes, have her here forever. Yes, yes. So, in art, how did you get started? I started when I was a child, when I had asthma, so I couldn't join my uh, uh, brother and my cousins in sports. I, I, I couldn't play ice hockey or ski or anything. My country is quite cold because it's the same latitude as Maine, so winter winter is a lot of fun so i miss that here but my parents because i of my health issues decided me to enroll me to children art school so i started when i was six because i was always drawing and so uh, the rest is the history i guess <laughs> well i'll tell you it's fabulous to have you here we're at 2620 oak alley in barrett heights by the way And uh, she, Dotsa, Dotsa did the most beautiful artwork in the powder room. It's just unbelievably breathtaking. You'll see that in a little bit. But uh, tell us about your, your, how do you get your inspirations? Is it through the owners? Do you, or do you, you have something in mind when you look at something and just say, kind of comes from somewhere in your, your soul? I mean, when um, I do my own paintings and murals, uh, inspiration is everything. It can be just a walk or seeing a flower, a cloud, uh, hearing song. Uh, when I do my commission work, and especially working with somebody uh, that's open to ideas and has a vision, is very, very exciting because I see it as a collaboration. In a way, uh, I'm, I'm becoming their brush. And, and I think this was very much this case working with the owners here. They approached me and they, from first moment, they knew exactly what they want. They had a very unique and very precise uh, vision. They were um, curious if that's something that can be replicated. Yeah. They did not know the technicality of the project, and that's where I came in to figure it out, and we worked for over three months on it, going back and forth, because um, the uh, project, the final view is something that requires a lot of, it's very labor-intensive, it requires 
a lot of layers and a lot of col colors and mixing and painting over, over and over again until we got the, the result that pleased us all. Just it turned out phenomenal. <laughs> it's just a beautiful piece. Thank you. I I have after I completed uh, it and I uh, shared the photos. I had so many compliments and nobody could believe that this is in Tyler, Texas, because I do a lot of work in Dallas and Austin. Um, a lot of my friends know that, oh, this is probably somewhere in Highland Park in Dallas. I'm like, no, 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 it's right here. And they were like, wow, who has this ball vision? This is amazing. Can we go see it? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we would love for you uh, to tell the story about the conditions you were in while painting while the house was being built. Yes, yes, it was very unique, and and it was uh, my first project that uh, when my clients said, "Well, we're ready for you to come in," and and I pack all my tools and ladder and paint, and I come in and I try to turn the light switch on, and there's nothing to turn on. <laughs> So, so the house was very much under the construction. They were finishing to putting in floors and uh, working on painting the walls and trim. And so I had to run the electricity from the street. It, it was, and because also it was middle of winter and there was no heating. So <laughs> it was a little bit extreme. But it it came out great. great. It's amazing. Yes, it is. And to work in those conditions and, and complete that is, is really awe-inspiring. It so. is. And we'd love for you to show everyone and talk about the bathroom, too. All right. Well, we're going to take a break, and she's going to tour her fabulous artwork with you. We thank you. Yes, please come see us. And for a tour of this home, it is for sale, by the way, 2620 Oak Alley. That's called Kretcher and Hartley Team of Remax Properties. 903-565-6999. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me show you the mural I did for this house that is very, very bold. And I had a lot of fun doing it. So... The inspiration for this mural came from kind of replicating a watercolor effect that would be very vivid and very colorful. So when you would come in into this room right from the pool, you will be transformed to completely another environment. And so uh, the color choice was based on the illustration that was provided to me by the owners and we were on a mission to replicate and incorporate also some of their favorite colors that really kind of creates this endless summer of the pool a lot of fun so there's also some black that is characteristic to my work because I love to use uh, contrast and different uh, shapes and I really wanted in this work create a lot of movement because to me it's always a huge challenge to have something that is two-dimensional but still have the sense that it's moving and has depth and every time you look at it you see something else so I really really think that it's hard for this to all do justice in pictures and videos. So if you want, please come tour this house and see this mural in person.